I'm the sole songwriter, so I, I do all the refs and the, the, the chord progressions and all the you know, lyrics and stuff. And, and um, you know, you grow up. That's what happens to everybody. You know, it doesn't matter where you work. You know. I've always wanted to call myself Sonic Plumbers. You know, you need your plumbing done right. You know, it's, you know, uh, there's a reason for everybody. Originally, I was supposed to be the bass player for this band, but we couldn't find a singer, so I had to try. I didn't want to be one. I felt nervous about it, and I still do. That's the reason why I you know, smoke on stage. I started playing music because that was the only way I could cope with life. You know, I lived through music, and to music, and for music, and only for music. That's what I've always been doing since I was a kid. It's been my self kind of psychotherapy type of thing, you know. It's very cathartic to be able to write about things you love and care for and the things you've lost and, and, and to be able to sort of see yourself in the mirror. Yeah, I'm really proud of everything we've done with the band, you know, this is our sixth album and, you know, we're proud that we've been able to come from this little tiny country in the middle of nowhere, basically, to be able to, you know, able to sit here and sweat my brew out <laughs> from last night's Playboy party, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's like Gigi Allen. I'm, I'm, I'm like a good looking Gigi Allen who does his shit and throw the shit into the audience. I've seen the shit. We don't do anything like that Bon Jovi crap that we would like get around and be like fucking like, three musketeers, you know. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> when it comes to music and that's all that matters and basically we, we, I want us to be a road sign towards all the legends we love so we we want to be the kind of like the business card for Black Sabbath they gave me the hope to be able to become a musician so I'm eternally grateful to Black Sabbath and that's the reason why I'm here My name is Billy from Bank Hall Hem from Finland and if you're watching live video, enjoy it. You know, when I get the money I'm, I'm planning on to buy an island and uh, build a church. You can drink there, you can have it's basically a bar, you can smoke there and you can get married there under no laws of Christ. That's gonna be the church of love. That was Van, Van Halen, that was the that was the old school thing. From that gig that Van Halen did where they smashed up the back room, uh, you know, the backstage, you know, the dressing room. That's what, what for me, rock and roll is all about, you know. Unpredictability, doing things that are outside of the major, uh, 
you know, the morality of, uh, you know, of the world. You're supposed to be the best friends, a band of brothers, so to speak. And you just do the music you love and, you know, have a blast while doing it. But everybody's like a friend. We'll be staying together for a long time. And that's, that's the thing I'm actually the most proud of, that you can share moments of success and failure with with people you really care for and it's not about you know going on on a ego trip type of thing well i usually throw up before you get because like because you know when you're a singer you're supposed to be singing from you know the tummy and if you've been eating a lot it's like you can't breathe that well especially when i smoke and i'm asthmatic so um that's what i usually do because i'm just nervous but I'm not nervous, usually the gigs are shit. I like the Iggy Pop element in rock. So you gotta be unpredictable. You know, you gotta have the element of surprise in what you do. You know, like, you know, fucking break a bottle and fucking cut yourself. You have to be able to be with the family of friends, with a great fucking manager and great wives and kids and everything. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Love.